today we are going to learn how to install custom ROM on any Samsung phone. I will show you the complete step-by-step -step process, starting from downloading all the required files to actually flashing the custom ROM on your device. We will install Evolution X ROM, which is based on pure ASP, so you'll get a clean Android experience on your Samsung phone instead of the typical Samsung One UI. By the end of this tutorial, you will know exactly how to transform your Samsung phone with a custom ROM. In this demonstration, I'm using a Samsung A52. But here's the exciting part. After watching this video, you'll have the knowledge to install a custom ROM on any Samsung phone. My phone is currently running on the latest available update, which is date, which is Android 14. To get started with rooting your phone, you'll need to enable developer options first. Simply tap several times on the build number until you see you are now a developer toast message pop up. You'll discover this newly unlocked option waiting for you at the bottom of your settings menu. Now from developer options, enable two crucial settings, OEM unlocking and USB debugging. However, if these options aren't appearing in your phone's menu, unfortunately, Samsung has restricted bootloader unlocking in your region, which means rooting your phone or unlocking the bootloader simply isn't possible. Our first major step will be unlocking the bootloader. Once you've successfully enabled both OEM unlocking and USB debugging options, connect your phone with PC using USB cable. After establishing the connection with PC, and if it asks for ADB permission, allow it. Once your phone shows it's charging, restart your Samsung phone. The moment the screen goes completely black, quickly press both volume buttons simultaneously. This precise timing will transport you directly into download mode. Once you've successfully entered download mode, Press and hold the volume up button to initiate the bootloader unlocking process. Your phone will perform a complete erase operation during bootloader unlocking, then automatically power back on. After the bootloader unlocking completes, your phone will display several warning messages. Don't worry, these warnings are completely normal and expected after unlocking the bootloader. Your phone may take some time to boot up after unlocking the bootloader, while it's booting, let's go ahead and download some essential tools. First, we'll download TWRP. Finding TWRP for any Samsung phone is surprisingly straightforward. Just search for your specific phone model on Google and you'll discover TWRP availability for practically every Samsung device out there. Always make sure to download TWRP exclusively from the trusted XDA forum and carefully read through all the flashing instructions. You'll typically find VB Meta conveniently bundled with TWRP, or you'll always find it alongside TWRP since they're designed to work together. We also need to download the Odin flashing tool and Samsung USB drivers. I'll provide direct download links for both in the video description. After successfully downloading these critical components on your PC, we are ready for next step. I've successfully downloaded TWRP, VB Meta, Odin, and Samsung USB drivers onto my PC. The first essential step you'll need to undertake is installing the Samsung USB drivers. I won't be installing them since they're already configured on my computer. After successfully installing the USB drivers, proceed to extract and launch the Odin tool. Once you've launched the Odin tool, we'll need to import both VB Meta and TWRP into the application. Navigate to the AP slot and select your TWRP tar file. Subsequently, in the user data slot, select the VB Meta file. Following that, access the advanced options within Odin and ensure you uncheck the auto reboot feature. Once both files have been successfully imported into Odin, restart your phone in download mode while maintaining its connection. When your phone enters download mode and establishes connection with Odin, press the start button to initiate the TWRP flashing process. Upon seeing the pass indicator in Odin, 
Simultaneously press the volume down and power buttons to reboot your phone. Once the screen goes completely black, release the volume down button and quickly press the volume up and power buttons together. This specific button combination will boot your device into recovery mode. Once you've successfully entered TWRP recovery, we'll begin by wiping the user data. Navigate to the wipe tab, then select format data and type yes in the text field. This will completely erase your user data. Now that the custom recovery has been installed, our next task is downloading a custom ROM for this specific device. Search for custom ROMs compatible with your particular device model, just as I'm doing for my Samsung A52. You'll typically find a dedicated forum for your phone model on Xdia Developers, which is a renowned community for Android modifications and custom ROMs. Certain Samsung phones might not have dedicated forums on XDA, however, you can still install GSI ROM on these devices. Check the video link provided in the description to learn the complete process. As you can observe, XDA offers numerous ROM options available for my device. I'll be downloading Evolution X since it's a pure AOSP ROM. However, you're free to choose any ROM that aligns with your specific requirements. Most ROMs available on XD also provide comprehensive step-by-step -step installation guides. After selecting your preferred ROM, transfer it to your phone while maintaining it in recovery mode. You should be able to access your phone's internal storage as an MTP device through your computer. Unfortunately, in my case, my phone isn't appearing on my PC for unknown reasons. Therefore, I've copied my ROM onto a USB drive. As you can observe, my USB drive is now connected to my phone. To install custom ROM using TWRP, simply click on the install button and choose your preferred storage source. Either internal or USB storage, then navigate to the location where you've placed your downloaded custom ROM. Select your custom ROM file and slide to initiate the installation process. The installation process has started on my phone. However, in certain cases, your installation might fail due to various reasons. If this occurs, attempt to install your ROM using a different version of Custom Recovery, or alternatively, you can try Orange Fox Recovery if TWRP isn't functioning properly. Always ensure you thoroughly read all installation requirements while downloading custom ROMs for your device. After the installation process completes, perform another usable wipe and reboot your phone. The initial boot following custom ROM installation might require additional time to complete. As you can clearly see, my phone has booted successfully and is now running Android 15 Evolution X on my Samsung A52. That concludes this comprehensive tutorial. If you found this video informative and helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more advanced content like this.